Uh, joining us now is somebody who knew Jack Freed very well, Jeff Lieb, who was the founding president of the West Bloomfield Optimist Club and a very good friend of Pastor Freed. I know with heavy heart, we welcome you to the Splash Live. Good to see you this morning, sir. Thank you, Dave. So um, your thoughts um, when you heard this um, sad news, Jeff Lieb? Well, I focused on the word loss when you said that we lost Jack Freed. He'll, he'll never be lost because his memory will live in all of us that had the pleasure of knowing him. He was an honorable man and all of our all of our collective memories of him will always be for a blessing. And so he will live on in our life, in our memories forever. You know, the, the number of people that I've talked to over the last 24 hours uh, who have um, said things to me that really had an impact about uh, the life of Pastor Jack Freed, uh, they all seem to say that Jack would call them. Pastor Freed would call them. They didn't need to pick up the phone. Um, he would check in on them and make sure that things are going well in their world. And, you know, this is from the leaders of our community. I assume um, that, that those stories don't surprise you. Not at all. Not at all. He was, he was an outreaching type of person. He was a motivator. He, uh, as, as you probably know, and most of the people listening here will know that he wrote winning words for over 20 years, five days a week, 4.59 a.m. My computer would show a winning word message that uh, he composed, and they were always motivational and inspirational. It just it was a beautiful way to start the day. I shared it with my children many times and other friends. And, you know, and I think he's I think he's leaving us a great legacy in uh, in that blog. It's all there. We've got a link to it off of civiccentertv.com. You can go to our website. And if you're not familiar with the email, all of those blog posts are posted there. In fact, here's a QR code put up on the screen. You can scan that and go to Jack's Winning Words. And, uh, you know, Jeff, as I believe, I just looked in the other day, he was publishing those right up to the day that he passed. Yes, yes. And, and I have them all saved in my computer. <laughs> I don't have to go to your to your Civic Center site to find them. I can just go back into my computer. I've got them all saved for all these years. Let's take a, a look back at the days when the Optimist Club was born here in West Bloomfield. You were there. Pastor Freed was there. You got a story. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, his involvement and how this all came to be? Sure. I met Jack when uh, we began meeting at the... Um, Oh, it was a pancake house on Maple and Orchard Lake Road on uh, where Tim Hortons is now. And uh, <clears throat> we, we began organizing the Birmingham Optimist Club was uh, helping to found us. And um, we started meeting in the fall of 1971. And we slowly built up uh, 30 or 40 original members. And by the first part of 1972, we were uh, given our charter, and Jack was right there with me and and uh, the others, and we had uh, we started we were started as a club, and and Jack and I hardly ever missed a meeting for for 50 years. Uh, when we were in town, we were always at our meeting and unfortunately COVID interrupted uh, the ability to meet in person, but we met for 40 years, 7.30 Tuesday mornings at the Stage Restaurant. We had a couple of other places that we met, but the last restaurant of uh, where we met in person was the Stage. Now we're meeting at the Soul Cafe. Well, we're going to hear more about that um, sure. when we talk to some other folks, including uh, Robert Brooks later on this morning, uh, who had breakfast with him every Saturday. Um, yeah. You were also there, and so was uh, Pastor Breed at the very beginning of the Michigan Week, the annual Michigan Week celebration. And, uh, and, and it was so great to have you there last year. 
for our 50th anniversary and participate in the way you did. Thank you very much. Um, but that is an amazing event where we honor volunteerism in West Bloomfield. And, and again, there, there you two were uh, helping to establish something that has become an institution in our community. Thank you. I, it was, uh, was an honor to be there. And that first year in 1972, Jack and I were both named Minutemen Award winners for, from the state of Michigan, which I don't, I don't remember how many Minutemen Award winners there were, but he and I were right there and we'd just been friends for so long. That's why I say he left a legacy of memories that will live forever in, in my mind. And Jeff Lieb, if all of that um, history and resume isn't enough, you both were very good friends of my mother, Agnes Scott, too, which yeah, uh, gives me a warm, warm spot in my heart. When I think of that generation and what she and her peers and you and, and Jack and, and uh, Pastor Freed and all the others um, did for our community and, and just how vital community service uh, was to them. It sets a great example and it motivates me to get up every morning and do the very best I can to carry on that legacy. Your mom invited us as optimists to come down and spend uh, time at the um, at the at the at the uh, oh lost for uh, a thought. It, he she ran the, the um, channel fifty six auction. Sure. So she so were yeah. So you both came to the she auction. Oh yeah. She oh recruited. my goodness. And she recruited us and all the members of the Optimus Club to come down and work on the auction. Yeah, that was a wonderful gesture on your part. Another great memory. We'll, we'll continue this conversation on another day. Thank you very much for joining us. Um, good to be with you. And I, you seem like you're doing great. You're in Florida this morning, and uh, you're going to miss this terrible storm that we're going to have. But thank you for being with us this morning and sharing thank your you. thoughts this morning on The Splash Live. Thank you, Dave. To all, uh, all your listeners, a wonderful Christmas holiday and happy and healthy New Year.